Well, we have a cat named Ducati that okay. has been peeing and marking around our newly remodeled home. Okay, and when you say peeing around, I mean, is it once a day, is it? Uh, it is a daily routine. When did you guys get Ducati? We've had her now two and a half years, and she was an angel for about two weeks, and then it goes downhill from there. You've been dealing with this for two years? Yes. How have you been putting up with this? Well, I wanted a dog, but Lathan would have nothing to do with a dog in the house. I am a Leo the lion, so okay. I figured I needed a cat to go with my personality. And I did my homework that Bengals are very dog-like. They're not that dog. You can hear that idea just thudding to the ground. Yes. A Bengal is a cross between a domestic feline and an Asian leopard cat. So when people talk of them being dog-like, what they mean is in their social behavior. They like to play with people. They're connected with people. I get that. But they're also very, very, very much cat. Is there a ticking clock here in terms of Ducati? Um, maybe we have another house to have Ducati live there. Seems to be I a viable option. I think she would really love it in Texas, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> it, we would have a long distance relationship, Adrian uh, and is I. That, okay, now I know. Latham is making jokes about moving away with Ducati, but at the same time, I can tell this is serious. Adrian is at his breaking point, and Latham is sending him a clear message that he's not willing to give up Ducati, even if that means their dream home is destroyed by cat thief. So this was to be my retreat, and I envisioned this to be just a perfect space. It is. It's a beautiful space. Well, it's not what I envisioned, because I wasn't expecting this. This lovely piece of tarp you keep on here all the time? Yes. And the pillows above your head can't be on the couch. So you, you keep these guys up here all the time? Yes. Has she peed on these pillows? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, once they get inside pillows, you can wash them 100 times. Well, the we put... We put scented cards in them. Oh, is that what that is? Latham takes those cards out of the magazines with the cologne samples and puts them in the pillow. Get out of here, <laughs> man. You actually hit something I've never seen before, man. I got to give props for inventiveness. I mean, Latham is on top of it. If you show me something that has to do with cat pee that I've never seen before, score for you. This is the lady of the house? It, it is. is. I'm going to grab my case here. Now, here's the thing. For her, play equals prey equals the reason that she's alive in the first place. We're gonna start by being a bird. Watch this. She's a Bengal. She's got to play. Built for speed, not for distance. <laughs> <laughs> so when Jackson played with the Cotty, I was just shocked. It, it was a side of the cat I'd never seen before. If she's naturally exhausted, and that is hunt, catch, kill, eat, groom, sleep, mm -hmm. then she will not be patrolling the boundaries, heeing or scratching, leaving marks someplace. That instinct won't be as sharp. Now, I bestow this upon you first and foremost because your homework is going to be getting to know Bengals. And in a much deeper sense, Bengals absolutely stand out from other cats. These guys are hunting machines. For the next couple of weeks, I want Adrian to play every day with Ducati, getting into her rhythms, running around, being the bird, being the prey, so that she can chase him and also establish a bond with him, which is really important. Now, for you, your homework begins with this. I want you to construct what I call Bengal boot camp, okay? You start with this. This is the sunny seat, right? You can put them around the house so that you can actually construct a cat superhighway where you can lead her with one of these toys up and around, up and down again. We are pooping her out to the best of our abilities. The second thing is I want you to put up a sight blocker in that window under the stairs so that when she looks that way, she can't see out the window because I guarantee you one thing. When she looks out that window, more often than not, she's seeing something that's making her crazy, and that's why she's marking everywhere. We did go out of town, and she does have anxiety when we're out of town, so the one time she did pee on the couch, and luckily it was covered, but it happened while we were gone. The good news about that is that at least we're not sitting here going, wow, that's random, and now we can really zero in on that. Guys, how's Bengal Boot Camp going? I think it's going great. We put up all the sunny seats. Judging by the smile on your face, Ducati must be using it. Yes, and Adrian is playing with Ducati all the time, and I just love it. Ducati is, is a cool cat. I've really grown to like her, but she's not a dog. No. She's never going to be a dog. No, she's never going to be a dog. Why? Wow, you're a hard guy to please, man. <laughs> I mean, I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but she is uber cat, and I got to get you to love that part of things. All right, let's go on in, walk around, and see Ducati. Okay. okay.
So we head into the living room, and let me tell you something. I couldn't have been any happier. Bangle Boot Camp! Look at this, man. This is fantastic. We have sunny seats that have turned into stairs that wind up on the top of this armoire. And I couldn't wait to check out every little piece of it. She loves it. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! That rocks right yeah. there. Oh, it gets better, though. This oh, is huge. Yes. I know, yeah. look. We have pillows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have no covers. Seeing Ducati walk around Bengal Boot Camp, there's so much more of a concerted, confident energy about this cat. And that's why she's not peeing anywhere. Wow. She's going up to her sky Let's bar. Let's follow her. <laughs> follow. Follow the cat. So this was my other part of the boot camp. I built two of the sunny seats here and then there, and then I added this board where now Ducati can walk back and forth. That and is look. brilliant. Look at that. One simple piece of wood up here. This is so brilliant, though. One thing, if I had to make one suggestion, mm -hmm. you see what she's doing right now? Mm -hmm. You see where she's looking? Where is she looking? She was looking at a dead end, right? The, your highway has a dead end. So I would just, I mean, just only because you guys have done such an amazing job with this, you can connect your two You're gonna places. turn my house into a habit trail. I am turning your house into a cat superhighway, and I'm proud of it. I looked over to Adrian, and he started giving me some flack. The guy did not want one more shelf in his house. I mean, the thing is, we're talking about one shelf here. I know for you it feels like habit trail right now. Remember, by working her out here, by expanding her full sense of territory, you're kind of making sure that your stuff doesn't get peed on again. I thought we were building my dream house or our dream house, but I think we may be building Ducati's dream house. I'm not <laughs> sure yet. Okay, guys, ready for some homework? Yes. Sure. Hold on, I got something for you. Here wow. we go, Look yep. These are catnip cozies, right? Now here's the thing, catnip we're dealing with cozies. catnip cozies. The catnip cozies are to address the reason behind Ducati's one accident, separation anxiety. And it's something that I'd like you to put on. There's little catnip pouches in here. You could just drape it over yourself and just sit someplace. Basically your scent gets in it, then the cat can complement your scent with theirs. So when you go away, your scent is still strong. Now, I want you to flesh out the end of the cat superhighway in the living room. Then, Adrian, you're gonna step up your game playing. I do wanna make sure that you can get Ducati to that panting place. Now, just to show you that I'm the kind of uh, good sport that I profess to be, I would like to give you your catnip cozies. And I'd like all of us to try it on. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, look, there's Ducati. There you are. Good girl. How do you like the cozy? How do you like the cozies, huh? She's like, oh, you are three crazy men. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna take off. All right. All right, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, so the last time I was here, your big assignment was to connect the dots. I wanted to see the super highway completed. So tell me what you've done. So I uh, added this beam here, or oh, this panel here. Oh my god, look at that. Where Ducati can have a nice relaxing stroll along the yeah, beam. Yeah, yeah. And down and around and make a complete circle. You, you, yeah, that's fantastic. It's so great. Here she is here now. Here she comes. Hi, girlfriend. What a charmed life this cat lives at this point, man. It's pretty amazing. Throughout our time together, I assigned Adrian and Latham very specific tasks. Latham was the builder of the couple. This was the guy who had to make sure that this house was truly catified. Adrian was a guy who just didn't have a relationship with Ducati. So I needed him to build a bond. Both Adrian and Latham in their individual jobs have absolutely been stellar, and because of that, at the end of the day, Ducati is a happier cat.